everybody, my name is Emily, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this pretty butterfly macrame bracelet. I've learned to do macrame jewelry in Costa Rica in 2009, and I've been making macrame jewelry ever since. This is actually the first video I make on how to make jewelry. So I'll show you everything there is to know so that you can accomplish this pretty bracelet. The string that I use is a double stranded wax polyester string. It's super durable. It will last a long time. What's great about it, it's easy to burn because it's got a wax coat on it. So when you burn, you can finish your work really clean. Sometimes I will use hemp if you want it more like a beachy look. Hemp will soften with time, so it will have more like a rugged look, but this is what hemp looks like. To make this bracelet, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a lighter, one string of 6 inches long, two strings of 18 inches long, and two strings of 30 inches long. For this one, I'm going to be using a butterfly charm. You can use anything else that has something to hook on each side and I'm gonna be using two beads to put on each side. So we're gonna do this side first, and then we're gonna work on this side, and then we're gonna tie it together at the end. So to start, we're gonna take the small string and fold it in half, the one that's 18 inches, and we're gonna make a lark's head knot. So you're gonna take the end like this and put this loop, inside so you have a loop on this side you're gonna take the other end and pass it through the loop and then pull and you create like this a lark's head I like to secure the stuff that I work with it makes it easier but if you don't have a macrame board, you can um, you can tie this end on the other end and then hook it anywhere and then work on the opposite side. So now we're going to take the long string, the one that's 30 inches. We're going to fold it in half and we're going to start with this side over here. So we're going to place it under here. And the first part will be eight square knots. So to do a square knot, you're gonna take, I always start with the left for some reason. So you loop it, put it behind, goes on top of the right side. Then you take the right side, put it over into the loop here, pull it through, and then you pull each side like this. You want to make it snug. You want to stay consistent with the tightness of your knot so that it's all even. So now we've done the first side. So you see the little bump here, then we know that we went behind. So to make a flat square knot, you have to alternate sides, the one that goes behind. So now we're going to take this one. Go behind the support strings. On top of the left side, the left side goes over into the loop, pull it through, and then pull on each side. At first, you're going to need to push, push it back towards the butterfly. We're going to do the same. Go behind the support strings. On top of the right, right string goes over into the loop, pull it through tighten it. So we've made three so far. Behind, on top, over, pull it through. That's number four. You can see it. one, two, three, four. Okay, so we got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at this point, I'm going to put the bead like over here. Put 
put the two support strings through the bead. Here we go. And I'll push it. There we go. So now for the second part, we're gonna do, this is also a square knot, but it's a spiral square knot. So instead of alternating from left to right, we always do the same side and that what, that's what creates. So instead of alternating from left behind, right behind, we're gonna do all of them left behind. So that's gonna create the spiral. And there is gonna be 42 knots. So make sure the bead is snug and we're gonna do all left behind. Left behind the support strings. On top of the right string. Right string goes into the loop and we pull. Same thing. So we see we're not alternating. We're always going the left behind. behind on top so you see it's starting to create the spiral so I'm gonna put it here So here I just completed this knot and because the spiral is starting to go I'm going to need to readjust and turn it so it's easier to work. You'll know when it happens but you just keep going left behind on top of the right string, right string on top into the hole and pull. So this is 42 knots, eight square knots, the bead and 42 spiral square knot. And this measures two and a half inches on this side. We're gonna cut these working strings. We have to be careful here. You don't wanna cut the work. We're gonna cut and also be careful not to burn your fingers and also not to burn the other strings. It happened to me before. So you burn just till the edge and then I use the lighter to kind of smush it. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Here we go. And now we're gonna make a knot. Just a simple knot where you grab both strings together about this. This doesn't matter because you can always cut it back later. I'll show you after. This is just the extra. So when you put it around your wrist, so then you just tighten it. And we're gonna cut and burn over here also. So we've done uh, the first side of the bracelet. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Small string.
I always verify to make sure they're equal on each side in length. We're gonna cut the working strings. Be careful not to cut the rest and burn. I just slide it over here. Push it so it's the same distance. Snug it. Always wait a couple of seconds before touching it. It doesn't stay warm long, but be careful. So now we're going to fold each side on each other like this and we're going to use the small piece of string of six inches and we're going to do a square knot which is gonna the square knot is going to act as the sliding knot so same thing it's just a little harder because you have to hold all of the strings together so we're going to make a square knot do about five or this is six five or six is perfect same thing cut and burn there you go so this is your sliding knot so you just pull on each end so that way you can make it big. Put it here. And then you can pull on each side. I sell my jewelry so I don't put it in my mouth, but if it's yours, you can put one end in your mouth and pull on the other one. So that way you can adjust it to where you want. And there you go. I'm gonna add it on with the other ones. 